Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is CarQ, and today I'm joined by Rami. Hey, guys, I'm Rami, and I'm a 4633 SR Peak Lucio with over 800 hours on him. We're going to be bringing you one or more Lucio tip versus every hero to help you deal with each matchup. But before that, here is an essential general wall ride tip that every Lucio needs to know. A great general tip for aspiring Lucio players is to find an alternative rebinding of your jump key that you are most comfortable with. Building speed off of wall riding requires you to press the jump key near a wall to attach to it, then pressing jump again when you want to detach and carry your momentum and speed. Here's an example of one jump input and gliding off versus two jump inputs, one to attach and one to carry your speed. Now, if you've ever watched top Lucio players wall ride with incredible speed, the secret is to perform those two jumps as quickly as possible. One to jump on and one to jump off. Because of this, you'll need to find a jump key that you're not only comfortable with, but allows you to double tap the jumps efficiently, so you can get up to maximum speed as fast as possible. Common PC jump keys would be left or right click, or the scroll wheel. On console, many players rebind it to either bumpers or triggers. Pick one that you're most comfortable with. And with that out of the way, let's get started. Most Doomfists perform their damage combo by using Seismic Slam into primary fire, then an uppercut. If you boop just before he touches the ground during a Seismic Slam, you can deny the entire combo. If you do it too early, it won't work. Against Genji's Dragon Blade, look to use boop and speed amp after he dashes, so he can't slash his target and thus can't get a reset. If you see McCree going to flashbang a teammate, try and boop him away from your teammate as he's using it so you throw off his aim. Against Vera, it's not your job to deal with her, so the best thing that you can do is draw her attention so that she tunnel visions on you and not any of your other priority teammates. Her rockets have a relatively slow projectile time, so look to wall ride and leap off of walls unpredictably to avoid being hit. Reaper thrives at being close range to his enemies, so if you see a teammate being bullied, boop him away and speed your teammate out to create distance between them. If you see him ulting, you can boop him out of death blossom range, but be careful of sending him into your teammates. I'd only advise taking on a soldier during a very intense teamfight, as he's more of a job for your other teammates. Use your wall riding ability while dishing out some primary fires to both mess up his tracking and counter with some of your own damage. If he drops a biotic field, try to do some quick burst damage on him, boop him out of it, then try to finish him off while he's away from the healing. When you think the enemy Sombra may have EMP, hiding is actually the best tactic to counterplay it. After Sombra uses it, speed back in quickly and use Sound Barrier to protect your affected teammates. When Tracer is coming in for a Pulse Bomb, try and give her a boop. Usually, she isn't expecting it and it can cause her to miss her target. In a 1v1, you can actually annoy her and draw attention away from your teammates because your erratic movement and your healing aura can almost guarantee you won't be one clip. While I advise against fighting Bastions directly, Lucio can still do one of two things. Either carefully wall ride away from your team while shooting him to distract him while your team moves in on him, or quickly peek around corners to do short bursts of damage. Remember, he's hitscan in your projectile. Peek quickly, shoot, and dodge around the corner. Even if he's constantly spraying at your corner, you'll end up doing more damage to him than he will to you, depending on the range. To avoid being scattered, make sure to use your wall ride ability to stay in the air when dueling him. Be careful though, because if you don't maintain a high speed, you might actually make it easier for Hanzo to headshot you. Using Sound Barrier against Rip Tire is the correct play the majority of the time, but it's a bit of a gamble on the timing. If you drop the beat early, it can buy you a few seconds of safety for your team to destroy it. However, if the junk stalls his tire, he can wait it out. If you wait too long to drop the beat, your teammates can die before the barrier gets applied. When playing against a Mei, try and pepper her health from a medium distance to see if you can get her to use her ice block early. If you can get her to do that, alert your team to try and advance on her as a team. Other than that, look to boop her away as she's freezing a teammate so you mess up her icicle headshot. Against Torb, quickly peek corners to poke down his turret without taking lots of damage. Since Lucio is projectile based, you can quickly peek, shoot, hide, and do all the damage without taking much of it yourself. One of the best ways to slow down a Widowmaker is to just shoot a bunch of primary fire shots in her direction to apply pressure and potentially mess up her aim. I would generally avoid going up against a Widow, but if you have to, dance around her and dump lots of primary fires and melees onto her as close as possible. Don't boop her away, as this makes it easier for her to line up a shot. Save your boop for when she's low, as booping, then punching on a low enemy is a great way to finish a kill with quick burst damage. One of the best tips against D.Va is to remember that boop still works through Matrix, so you can displace her Matrix angle and set up a play. 
Additionally, it's possible to boop the Diva Bomb if you use it as a final blow to break the mech and she ults as a method to get a free remech. Boop won't work if she's launching a bomb through Booster Jet. This tactic is best used if you suspect she's going to Panic Bomb and you have an angle to push it away from your team. Against Orisa, Lucio is so damn mobile and Orisa is relatively slow and inaccurate that you can actually whittle her down and annoy her without taking much damage in return. In environmental kill situations, bait out Fortify and wait until she stops shooting. When she's not shooting and fortified, she's much easier to boop. One of the best tips against Ryan is to boop him away or into the air in order to set up your own plays such as Shatter or High Noon. If he's holding shield, you pretty much need to be touching him to avoid having boop blocked by his shield. From there, look at his forehead, crouch down, and boop. When Roadhog lands a hook on a teammate, either boop him to the left or right just before he pulls the trigger. This will help mitigate some of the damage being done by throwing off his aim. Against Winston, look to boop his leap when he initiates an engagement to stop him from landing on your team. After Zarya uses her personal bubble, rush behind her and boop her into your team. She won't be able to protect herself, meaning you and your team can focus her down really quickly. Anas usually have a rough time landing a sleep dart on you, but her biotic grenade is much easier due to the splash radius. Try to avoid gliding on a wall for too long, and instead, look to hop off walls quickly to dodge the nade splash. Against Brigitte, booping her while she's holding her shield is relatively easy and effective because she won't be able to shield bash anybody on the ground, and it keeps her out of swinging range. To do this, you need to be at a slight angle of her shield. As much as I like to assert my dominance over the enemy Lucio, it's best not to initiate a fight against them. Instead, allow them to start fighting you. Lucio players will usually chase to finish a kill, so try and kite them into your team so that you can engage on him as a team. If you are in range, look to boot Mercy off of her res to cancel it. If not, look to focus her down with primary fire as she attempts to res because she isn't moving much during the animation. Moira is very vulnerable without her fate ability. Shoot at her until she uses her fate ability, then get close to her and focus her down quickly. If she uses her damage orb, make sure to use your amped healing to keep yourself up. Boop is a great way to get rid of Symmetra's turrets, so don't be afraid to peek corners and entryways to quickly destroy them. Other than that, if you see her engaging on a teammate, boop her away while speeding your teammate farther away to stop her beam from staying attached. When Zen is transcending, look to boop him straight up into the air, and you can potentially push him out of healing range of his teammates, giving you a small window to burst an enemy down. And that wraps up all the heroes. Thank you so much, Rami, for joining me. And shoutouts to iNomNom for the thumbnail. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you, CarQ, for having me on your awesome series. You can find me at twitch.tv slash underscore where I'm usually streaming starting at 1 p.m. Eastern.